delay management translates into increased mortality and morbidity. It can be slight morbidity like a lens of sight, but it can be long-term kidney function. There are the possibility of sudden deterioration. If these patients are maintained in the world, something I don't recommend, uh, they need, we, you need to have an alert system with an outreach people who may be able to intervene in case of uh, deterioration, as well as an easy access to resuscitation facilities in your hospital. Of course, we are ICU people, so we know that. Uh, there are, and uh, once you click on TMA, TTP, HUS, you need to know that there are new elements in the therapeutic uh, armatorium that are very important uh, for short-term and for long-term management. Uh, so this is why, even if we can manage day one, day two, day three for these patients, uh, we are very happy to discuss this with our hemato, our nephrologists, our internist people. All our hospitals are different, but we need to collaborate with people and discuss this very rare disease with others. The knowledge of three criteria, criteria to differentiate uh, the TMAs like ADAMS-13 complement system and etc. are very important. Uh, organ involvement, uh, we need to think on uh, acute reversibility and long-term outcomes. The treatment is an urgent. We need to have uh, patients receiving plasma exchange within six hours of ICU admission. And we discuss these patients uh, with a network of people, depending on your country, you can call the people working in your hospital or reference centers where they are. And the, the last thing is uh, we have acute management, uh, we have long-term uh, organ dysfunction, but we have also the risk for relapse. Uh, and most of these patients who are relapsing uh, are easy to recognize very early, and this is another reason why we should work together. Thank you for your attention.